How do you really become the best at what you do? I mean, if you look at any domain of life, the people who have always been remembered throughout history have been the masters. The Michelangelo, the Mozart, the sports athletes, the gladiators in the arena, the one in a million warrior on the battlefield. These people who have a rare depth of mastery of a field have always captivated human minds. But how do you actually become potentially world-class at what you do or just improve on a skill set that's really important to you? Well, that's what we're talking about in today's video on the 1101 rule. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master of the Day. Now, the first link in the description, I've included a free download, which is a free goal setting worksheet to help you plan out getting better at things, mastery, and figuring out the goals you want to achieve this year. So you can check it out right there, the first link in the description. So here's what the 1101 rule means. For one skill that you choose, you're going to dedicate 100 days, dedicating one hour a day to improving that skill. So let's break it down. You choose one skill you want to improve in your life. Maybe there are skills like chess, uh, playing the violin, a sport, painting, or learning French. The problem though with building new skills and mastery is that you need to pick one sub aspect of the skill. So let's say for example, your goal is learning to speak, read, and write French. You want to learn French. But the sub skills there, speak, read, and write, each of those are even different skills. And then listening is still a different skill. So let's say you break down the big skill into the sub skill. I want to speak fluent spoken French. So now that's very different from saying I want to be good at French. I want to be a computer programmer. I want to be a top athlete. I want to be a chess master. Each of those domains of mastery has dozens of sub skills. So first you find the sub skill. The second thing is you commit to it for 100 days. So you're dedicating an entire quarter of the year to one hour a day of deliberate practice in that skill and in that domain. Now what's crazy is that in one hour a day of dedicated mastery work, you can become ridiculous at a skill. The skill of writing, of podcasting, of being good at chess, of salsa dancing, or yes, of speaking fluent French. The dedication of one hour a day is really cumulative. And I found that rather than me, for example, going to salsa once a week for five years, instead, Doing it five times a week for one year or nine months actually is far better in terms of how good I get and how quickly I learn, but also how long it stays with me. And the third thing is super simple. You dedicate one hour a day to it, right? One sub-skill of your skill for 100 days, dedicate one hour. Now, if you think that is far too little time to become good at what you do, yes, I agree. You're not going to become Michael Jordan or a chess master or a salsa pro in one hour a day. But you can become really, really good and certainly good enough to meet many of the goals that you probably want in your life. You know, using this exact principle, not only did I get and maintain a six pack for the last 15 years, I built an entire business in just three hours a day at the start and still maintaining while doing my doctorate. I also managed to get this channel to almost 300,000 subscribers and I wrote multiple books before 30 and that's just kind of the beginning. And I'm really not that special. It's by using this framework of one sub-skill, for example, building a business, writing a book, building a business, creating content, or French, spoken French, listening to French, or chess, a certain chess move, etc., or running, and then you could do sprints, long distance, whatever. The sub-skills for 100 days, a dedicated one hour a day. And you would shock yourself at the goals you could reach, or even just the hobbies that could turn into something really, really amazing with that dedication to mastery. So I hope that helps. You can check out the first link in the description, which is for a free journaling worksheet that'll help you kind of plot out your most kind of impactful life going forward or reinvent it, kind of get your shit together, whatever you want to call it. But the first link there is for a free download that will help you and for a weekly email course. So check that out and then come check out my last related video on the exact topic right there.